Who do you think we should make our next video for? Whom? What? It's whom do you think we should make our next video for? And actually, if we're being 100% correct, we don't end a sentence with a preposition, so it should be for whom should we make our next video? Fine, whatever. Whom asked you to make this video? No, no. Who? What? It's who asked you to make this video. Really? Why is this so hard? Whom can teach me how to use who and whom? Actually... Shh. Who and whom are the two most commonly confused words in the English language. Even native speakers have a difficult time with them. The reason why native speakers have a difficult time with them is because it is a dying word. No one uses it anymore. In most cases, the use of who is accepted in any situation. And most people don't care if it's correct or not. <laughs> Mainly because they don't know which one is correct. Of course, you'll always get those grammar Nazis who will correct you every time, but it's rare. If you want to speak more like a native speaker, just drop whom from your vocabulary. But in some cases, like tests or formal writing, knowing the difference between who and whom can come in handy. So that's why I'm going to teach you when to use who and when to use whom. We'll even test your knowledge by having a test at the end of the video. So stick around to the end and show off your brain power and assert your dominance over the other viewers. Also, there'll be a little bonus clip at the end of the video. Stick around. Before we jump in, let's try something new. Let's try setting goals in our videos. In today's video, let's set a goal of 500 likes. If we reach 500 likes on this video, I'll randomly select someone from the comment section below and give them one free hour face-to-face, video-to-video lesson. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for notifications so that you get notified anytime I drop a new video. You wouldn't want to miss out on new videos. And of course, comment below just to show some love. Follow me on my social media accounts. Links will be below. With that being said, let's jump right into my computer and I'll teach you when to use who and when to use whom. Okay. This is another video suggested by one of my WhatsApp group members. Hey Nada, and I asked her how to pronounce it, asks, can you make a video explaining the difference between who and whom? To understand who and whom, first we must always remember that who is the subject, someone doing the action, and whom is the object, someone receiving the action. Also remember when answering these questions, always use he, she, they when answering a who question. And always use him, her, them when answering a whom question. So for all these questions, let's assume that who is the correct way to answer the question. We can always go back later and add the extra M to the end of who to make it whom, if need be. So let's look at some questions and I'll explain along the way. A good place to start would be the questions that we asked at the start of the video, before the intro. Who do you think we should make our next video for? Now we already know which one to use because the gorgeous woman at the start of the video corrected the handsome gentleman. But why is it whom? Well, how would you answer the question? You wouldn't answer it like, we should make this video for she, would you? No, of course not. That doesn't sound right. You'd answer it like, we should make the video for her. So now that you know you're using the word her to answer this question, what does her correspond to? We mentioned that before. It corresponds to whom? Easy. And of course, for you grammar Nazis out there, let's move the for from the back of the sentence to the front of the sentence, since we don't end a sentence with a preposition. So the correct answer is, for whom do you think we should make our next video? 
How about the second question? Who asked you to make this video? Again, we already know it's correct to use who because that helpful woman at the start of the video, but why is it correct? Let's think about the answer. How would you answer this question? You wouldn't say, her asked me to make this video, would you? Duh, no. You'd answer, she asked me to make this video. And you'd be correct by answering this way because you're smart. You're the whole package. So what word corresponds to she? Yes, it's who. Pfft. This is super easy. We got this. Who asked you to make this video? And the last question used at the start of the video, whom can teach me how to use who and whom? What's the answer? Well, we know that I can teach you how to use who and whom, but let's not use my name. Let's refer to me as he or him. So how would you answer this question? I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. Nah, you guys are the smartest subscribers out there. You don't need any extra time to think about it. You know it already. You wouldn't answer him can teach you how to use who and whom. You already know it should be he can teach you how to use who and whom. And what does he correspond to? Exactly. It's who. Who can teach me how to use who and whom? You guys answered that probably quicker than I could finish my sentence. Great job, everyone. Time for the test. And remember, if the test goes too fast, just pause the video. It's as simple as that. I'll also leave them down in the comment section. And here they are. Here's the first five. And here are the last five. Great. So, how did you do? Let me know down in the comment section. Alright guys, thanks for being awesome. Peace. I'm sorry to correct you. Who do you love? Uh, actually, shouldn't it be whom do you love? I'm breaking up with you.